Hey everyone, it's Kaylee and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I filmed me doing my updated everyday makeup routine. Um, I know I did one a couple like months ago, but I did end up using different products and trying new things out. So I just thought I should make a video of me doing that and seeing if I like it and I can add it to my everyday makeup routine. So that is what I filmed for you guys. So um, this is the final product this is what I do every single day I know it's a little bit too much for some people but this is what I like to do but before we get in can you focus please hmm. there we go. but before we get into the video I just want to talk about really quick with dossier so dossier is kind enough to do a paid collaboration with me in today's video so thank you so much for dossier for doing that if you guys don't know what dossier is it is a perfume company to Kind of like if you like luxury brand um, smells like Gucci or Prada or um, Marc Jacobs or anything, they have those pretty much exact perfumes but in their own form. So they take that smell of a high-end brand and make it into their own but also make it smell the same way. So they sent me over two of their perfumes that I should that I can show you guys so for the first one I got floral honey honeysuckle and floral andalhydes I'm pretty sure it's called so it comes in these 50 milliliter bottles like this and it also comes in a little tester so if you guys know what those little testers look like they come like that in your bottle so like in your little package so if you guys want to smell it before opening the big one then you can if you don't like the smell then you can always return it within 30 days and get your money back and you don't have to you know pay for something that you don't like you can always return it and get your money back or exchange it for something else so that's what i really like about their brand it's very affordable too it's not going to be like 600 dollars for a perfume it's like 20 to 40 dollars and you can also use my code Kaylee10 for money off your purchase to make it even cheaper. So, so thank you so much, Dossier, for collaborating with me in today's video. And everything will be linked down below to check out the website and also with my discount code. So it's a lot easier for you guys to get to. So I know this is not what the first part of the video looked like. I look really different. <laughs> But let's just get started with this new updated get ready with me. I have a couple of products that I started using differently and I have one new product that I haven't tried out which is the e.l.f. camo CC cream and I'm very excited about it because I've seen a lot of good reviews. So I'm going to try that out and see if I can include that into my everyday makeup routine. Um, I do a lot of like different things. I know for some people it might be a little bit too much for their everyday, but this is what I personally like to do and what I like to use. So let's just get started. I don't want this video to be long. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about the products. I'm just going to tell you what products I am using and then just do my makeup. So I'm not going to give like a full explanation. I'm just tell you. And obviously, if you like how it turns out, you can just see it. And then if you have any questions or anything, let me know down below. And I would love to respond to that for you guys. But yeah, let's just get started with my makeup. So the first thing I'm going to be using to hydrate my lips is the Laneige Lip Mask. This is, um, I don't know what flavor this one is. It's literally just the regular one, but I got the big size. So I just put this all over my lips just to really moisturize and hydrate them. This stuff is great for doing that. So I'm just putting that all over my lips. The lighting's a little bit bad. One side of my face is getting a lot of sun and one side is like barely getting any, but I'm gonna moisturize my face and I'm using the Laneige Water Bank Moisturize Cream. This stuff really does moisturize your face throughout the whole day. So I really do love this. It gives it such a nice, um, relaxing and cool feeling since it is kind of like a water-based cream so i just put that all over my face and blend it in so it's ready to start and prep for my face for my foundation moving on to foundation this is the new elf camo cc cream that i'm going to be trying out i'm really excited for this product because i'm kind of scared um i don't know how well this is going to turn out the only thing that i tried is just put it on the back of my hand to see if it did match my skin so I haven't like, you know, done like a full on face with it, but um, I'm just going to start off by putting 
like a pump on the back of my hand and it says that it is full covering um, color correcting natural finish and it has collagen peptides and niacinamide in it and that's really good for acne and all that stuff so that's what I like and then I'm taking this little um, AOA studio brush and just patting this all over just like that and then blend it in All right, so this is what it looks like when it's blended out. So far, I really do like this CC cream a lot. It is definitely not very, very high, you know, coverage. Yeah? In here. Like I was saying before I got interrupted, um, I really do love how this CC cream looks like it does still you know show my imperfections but I mean that's totally fine you can always cover it with concealer or add more it's very a buildable coverage I did notice that a lot because I have been like kind of putting it a little bit more on my problem areas and it really does you know blend in nicely like with a good um, color match the shade that I picked is light 210N so it just looks like this so I really do love this so I definitely recommend you guys giving this a try. You can also just wear this just how it is, or you can, you know, do like a full face of makeup, like how I am going to be doing. So next up, I'm taking my e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This is the um, hydrating camo concealer. I love this hydrating one compared to the regular one. The other one's a little bit more mattifying and a little bit more drying, but I do really, really like this um, hydrating one. So I just put this underneath my eyes to cover up my dark circles from not being able to sleep recently and then just kind of go over um, my little problem areas over here this one's very you know a little bit more it's mostly just scarring so I kind of don't really like that about my face on how much scarring I have but you know it's totally fine um, but yeah, so I just let it sit for a couple seconds just to get a little bit more tacky and then it gives it more of a full coverage effect. So I'm just going to let this sit for a couple seconds. Now that everything is all blended out and nice and even, I love this finish. It's super natural but also super very, super very, super um, coveraged and very nice. So next off, to set this, because I do love to set my face, I am using the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. Just taking it on here. And then I use the little um, fluffy, I forgot what these things are called, but the little fluff thing. And I just tap that in here. And I kind of like doing this a little bit more than using a brush when I'm using this powder because I don't know it just like really sets it in and I can like press it in and make sure everything is all nice and even and not all sticky in some places so then it just mattifies it like that um, and then I just do the same thing I just do it all over my face make sure to blend it down in your neck too to set your neck make sure whenever you do your foundation or any type of cream or anything on your face make sure to always blend it down your neck so it looks more natural than anything. So this is what my face looks like with it being all set and everything. Now I'm gonna move on to bronzer because I love to bronze up my face. And if you guys have seen in my vlog that I posted my last video, I got this new bronzer. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I think it's just, I don't even know. But it's, I got it at Rite Aid. It was like six bucks and I really do like like this bronzer a lot. It's very, very buildable. So I just take it on this Sephora brush, Pro Angled brush, and I just bronze up my face to make sure I have, to make sure it looks like I have some, you know, light and color in my skin. So it just looks like that. And then I love this brush because I just put it right here and then it just automatically gives me that chiseled out um, cheek, which I really, do enjoy because I don't like my whole face to be one color I like it have I like it to have like you know different I don't even know how to pronounce it but like you know my cheekbone structure and all that stuff so then I'm just blending the bronzer up on my forehead and then bring it down on my jawline 
and then bring it down and then now I'm taking some blush it's the NARS blush in the shade Angelica I'm not sure if this is still available I got this a while ago and then I'm just putting it on my cheekbones to give me more pigment and give it a peachy look And I go over with the brush and just kind of blend everything. Now moving on to eyebrows, I'm just yell yelling, yeah. I'm just using this e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I'm just going to do my eyebrows really quick and then I will be right back. my eyebrows is what they look like now I'm just going to contour my nose like contour my nose I'm using the same bronzer and then a more angled um, eyeshadow brush and then I just go down the bridge of my nose the sides of my nose like this very lightly go underneath and then bring it up on the sides so I blend in when I do my eyeshadow and it just looks like this get a little round at the top so no, I'm not good at contouring or doing whatever. I just kind of do this to, and I make it feel like it does something, but even if it doesn't, that's totally fine. Now I'm going to move on to eyeshadow, and I kind of just do a, like, brown, smoky, dark, once in a while eye look, um, and then I just take, like, literally, like, the end of this or like the end of this and I put it against my eye right here to give it more of that sharp um, look and I know there's obviously products I mean well yeah products or um, like tools that they make to do that but honestly just using the back end of this is totally fine with me so I just take that and then I'm using the hanging in Hawaii um, little palette from BH cosmetics and then I'm just taking this angled brush that I used for my nose contour and also this Morphe JH Jaclyn Hill um, 33 brush. So I use these two and just stick more to the brown. Sometimes I'll add like a darker on the outer side and then just kind of like, you know, blend that up. So that is what I'm going to be doing. It's different every time. Sometimes it's darker, sometimes it's lighter, but we'll just see. This is what I did for my eyes. I just added a darker um, eyeshadow and just kind of did like a little wing. Because um, I do use Lashes Co. I kind of like to have that little wing to make it a little bit more darker. But now after that, I'm just going to curl my lashes, put on mascara, and then put on my falsies. And then put on some black liner underneath on my waterline to just really darken it up. And then I'm just taking these lashes from Kiss. I forgot what style they're in, um, but I love these lashes. All right, so I just got done with my eyes. I put on my lashes and then I put on my liner underneath my, on my waterline to make it more deepened and dark. So that is pretty much all what I do. The last thing I need to do is put on mascara on my bottom lashes and then it will be good. And then I normally add a lip, um, but my lip is in my car, and I kind of don't want to go get it just for this video. <laughs> kind of a little bit too lazy, but the only thing left I have to do is wipe this like excess off, because it has like a little bit of foundation. And then I'll just take the um, lip mask again and then put it over my lips so my lips are hydrated throughout the day and then whenever i put on my lip um my like lipstick and stuff it won't be all chapped so 
that is my updated everyday makeup routine i really think that i'm going to keep this elf camo concealer as my like foundation every day um because i really do like how it leaves my face looking like look how nice and like even and everything it looks and it matches my skin tone really really nice so yeah um i'm just going to put my hair down i have a couple things well i don't even have a couple things planned for today i just kind of wanted to film this video because i haven't filmed in a long time and i really need to start on my game again and i know i always say that but i just thought that this would be a nice little video to film for you guys since i did add a couple new things in my makeup routine and i don't even remember if i told you okay so the things that i didn't tell you is i told you my eyeshadow and my lashes and everything but the mascara that i use is the l'oreal voluminous carbon black mascara i had to come in my room because my mom just ended up coming back in her room because that's where i was filming but um this is the end and this is the finished makeup look i really hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to like comment share and subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video and i will see you guys in my next one bye